In this video, I'm going to show you how you can instantly create NAN JSON workflows both with Claude and ChatGPT. I'm going to talk about the difference between the quality of each one and which one you should choose in order to build complex workflows. We can actually give both ChatGPT and Claude the NAN builder. Basically, we're going to train it with the same type of prompts. We're going to give it the same type of files as project files, and then we're going to give it the same exact screenshot to generate the NADN workflow and see which one does a better job. I'm going to give you all of the resources for free and I'm going to show you how to access everything so that way you can just follow along. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. Okay, first of all, let me show you exactly how you can grab all of these resources that I'm about to show you for free. So all you have to do, I'm going to put the link in the description, go to the community. Uh, the, uh, I'm going to put the link in the description and click on that, join the like, uh, AI Workshop Lite community. You will go inside YouTube resources and right here, it says Claude and Eden Workflow Builder. It's the same exact problem that we're going to use for both. So go ahead and check that out. And then also, we obviously, if you want to utilize these skills to learn or make money with NADN, I've launched a course that is is launching your AI agency, how to become a freelancer, how to become, how to start making money, how to get your first client. I mean, we literally walk you through on a day to day basis, how to set up your business, how to set up your domain and email, how to start reaching out to clients. We have success stories. I mean, everything you need a day to day accountability program to help you start making money with NADN and AI automations. We even share all of what we do. So sample pricing from our AI workshop, AI agency that we work with regular clients. So you will see exactly how we price our projects, how you should price your project, how you should um, send proposals, how to set, how you can run discovery calls, basically everything you need, regardless of your background to set you up with a business of the future, which is becoming an AI automation consultant. And then also in the paid community, I have an absolute cl uh, beginner's class. So if you're new to NADN, you've never touched AI automation, this will get you started from the introduction to what AI automation is, to what NADN is, to step by step beginner friendly tutorial. So that way you don't get lost. So make sure you join the community. And then obviously, you know, we have our calendar section where you have daily calls. So if you get stuck on anything, or if you have any questions, anything related to the business side of AI, you can jump in and ask us questions. So I'm going to put the link description for both these communities. So that way you can follow along. All right, so I'm in my NADN blank workflow. So what we're going to do is actually I'm going to use a screenshot. I'm going to test this with the screenshot and then we can also take a look at the prompt as well. I'm literally going to take a screenshot of this and I'm going to upload it to both Claude and also our chat GPT and a den builder. Again, I'm going to talk about how you can build these custom uh, JSON and a den workflow builders on both sides. But let's go ahead and first take a look at the demo and then we can come back and walk you through step by step how you can build it. So I'm literally going to take a screenshot of this particular and I mean, I'm not going to provide it any additional details. So okay, and I'm just going to say create the exact same workflow as attached and I want the function and notes to be similar. I'm just going to say use assumptions when necessary. Because sometimes it asks follow up questions. So I'm just gonna tell it to use this assumptions when necessary. So it's gonna go ahead and generate that. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna just paste this and then also attach the same exact screenshot. So that way we can test both of them. So now both both of them are gonna go ahead and generate this NADN workflow from just a screenshot and then the simple prompt. And then what we're going to do is actually bring this over. So there you go. The, this chat GPT one is building. And by the way, you can see on the top left hand corner, it's called NADN JSON builder. So it's the same thing as this one, which is this NADN builder. So what this is going to do is there you go on the right hand side is generating the code. And now we're going to go ahead and, and by the way, this is a pretty complex build. I mean, it has, you know, it has to reach out to flux using HTTP request node. It has to extract the file. It has to like generate the video. So there's a lot going on here, even though it looks simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and see which one does a better job and what quality. Um, all right. So it looks like chat GPT is finished. So let's go ahead and copy it over there. So I'm going to let's copy this code. I mean, it is JSON ready, so it should be just be able to import it. There you go. Okay, so it for some reason it <clears throat> did a webhook instead of a form. So as you can see right here, I have an NADN form trigger and then the prompt generator, which is an open AI and then a couple of HTTP request notes. So let's see what it did. For some reason, it used a webhook instead of form. Then this one is they made a mistake there. So let's see, create flux. Okay, it's not, yeah, that's wrong because it should have been a post method. Extract file, that is kind of wrong. Generate, okay, so it reached out to runway ML and then wait and then get the video. Okay, so that's not bad. I mean, it's not that great, but it's not bad either. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what Claude generated here. So now I'm going to copy this. 
delete this. Okay, let's take a look here. Clean this up a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, see, as you can see, it's already way better, right? Like, it's very close to this. Um, and it already has an OpenAI attached model. It created the proper form. The prompt it generated the correct prompt. Generated the video. Yep, it's way better. As you can see, the quality of Claude is way better. It reached out to the correct API. I mean, this is pretty incredible that it can do this just from one screenshot. Right. I mean, they're, you know, it's not 100% correct, but still, like, it's done a really good job. Get video. Yep. It reaches out to the correct um, uh, URL there, merge task, formal output, and send notification. I mean, obviously, I don't have to say it. The Claude is 100 times better, and my, not 100 times, maybe 10 times better, right? At least in its, in its current form, because it's really good at generating all of this and the workflow kind of connected together. Everything is a really good starting point. So make sure you. Uh, I would suggest using Claude, especially the new uh, Claude Sonnet or Opus 4. I mean, Opus 4 is a probably more powerful model, but I think even the Sonnet one works really, really well. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and start building this thing out, right? So I'm going to start with Claude, and then we're going to go ahead and switch over to ChatGPT. So what you need to do is you're going to come to your Claude.ai, uh, and then you're going to head over to Projects. You're going to click on New Project, and you're going to name your project. So you can do and then Builder 2. Oops. Two. You can describe it. That's fine. Uh, build a ready to deploy and then JSON workflow. This is just to give a description and click on create project. So here's where we need to add now project knowledge. First of all, we need to give it uh, project instructions. So for this, we're going to go ahead, head over to my, to the light community here, to classroom sections, YouTube resources. I'm literally just going to copy this. Okay. And what we're telling this to do uh, is essentially just we're instructing it that you're a professional NADN workflow generator. Your job is to help the user build ready to upload JSON workflow files, right? Directly to NADN. So we're giving it all these instructions. We're giving it example prompts. And then we also are giving it that example output that it should generate. So that's all you need to do. Just go ahead and copy and paste that. I'm going to save the instructions. So I'm going to click on this plus button. I'm going to click on upload from device. And I'm going to go to my... NADN templates library. So I have over 250 NADN templates library. You will have access to some of these, obviously, because I have given access inside the community. So on the bottom, if you click on this JSON library, you have about like 20 to 30 uh, of these handpicked ones. But if you obviously, if you want to grab all those 250 ones, you can go to the NADN, the AI workshop paid community where you have access to all those 250 different um, uh, NADN JSON workflows. But I mean, for, for this purpose, that, that's fine. You can just grab this from the uh, free community, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just add maybe like, uh, that's good enough like about 25, 30, right? What we're doing is we're give, basically giving this a project knowledge, right? And you can add, um, you can see here the percentage is 34% of the product, project knowledge size used, right? So the more you add here, the more it's going to get filled. And based on the full capacity, I mean, you can add as much as you want, depending on what niche you're using, right? So, um, but like, you know, 60 to 80%, I think probably that's, that's, that's good. So let's go ahead and let that load. So now it says 85% of project knowledge used. That's fine. All right, so now we can go ahead and, whoops, I think it's going to go over. Let me get rid of this. So, all right, so I just removed a bunch of files so that way it doesn't get filled up. All right, so now it has access to all of these project files, which are NADN and JSON files. And then on this uh, instructions, we gave it the same thing. We just told it to make sure you're using the project knowledge base as your resource so that way it's not just randomly generating everything. So now you can go ahead and put a screenshot here, just like we did before. Very, very simple, very easy. And we're going to grab it and put it right here. And you're just going to say, just like I mentioned before, copy, paste, right? I'm going to press enter. And this is going to go ahead and generate a JSON file for you. Sometimes it might ask clarifying questions, but you can always say just uh, use your assumptions. Go ahead. All right. So the same thing, that's, that's how you build the... Uh, um, Claude one. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with your chat GPT. Obviously you have to be part of the pro plan. So same thing. You're going to come over to the left hand side in the bar here and then you're going to click on new project. You're going to give it a project name. So I'm going to same thing. JSON builder two. There you go. You're going to click on create project. 
Now this is going to go ahead and create a new project for you. As far as the look and feel, it's the same thing, except you in the bottom right here. So let me get rid of this add instructions. So now we're going to add the same exact instructions like we did before. So let me head over there back. Okay. Yep. Boom. There you go. So that's good to go. You're going to click on save. And you're going to click on add files, the same same type. One thing to notice, uh, the ChatGPT project has a capacity of 20 files where uh, uh, Claude has way more. So that's probably why it has the ability to give you a better uh, better output. So let me just go ahead and put a bunch of these. So this is essentially how you do it. You just go ahead and let this thing load. Don't worry about the files empty. I think one of the ones that are uploaded are uh, they're not done properly or that some kind of a, something is broken inside. But there you go. I uploaded everything and I'm just going to just leave it as it is. So now you can see it's in 19 files. If you add more than 20, like I said, it's not going to allow you. So now it's good to go. So now let's go ahead and give it the same exact prompt and make sure that this is working. All right. Oh, that's not it. There you go. Boom. It's going to bring it here. Uh, go right there. Boom. And paste. So now it should go ahead and generate that JSON workflow for us. So there you go. Now it's going to go ahead and create the JSON workflow here. And then we will be able to copy and paste that. There you go. So as you can see right here, and it then JSON workflow file. And all you have to do is just copy and paste. So very, very simple, very easy. And you can follow the instruction pretty simply. And then all you have to do, just like we did before, you can go ahead and paste this here. Now, obviously, like I said, this doesn't mean that when you do this, it's going to be ready for production or it's going to be ready for you to execute the workflows. There's a lot of incompletion. But what this does is it gives you the ability to get started have a head start right because you don't if you build this from scratch then it might take a long time but this what it does is especially if you knew this is very helpful it just gives you a good step uh, ahead or a head start so that way you can uh, utilize and start kind of continuing to build on top of this okay all right so hopefully you found that helpful again all everything all of the things that we talked about the prompts and everything is in the community free free community and like i said if you want to learn how to monetize this make sure you join the paid community other than that make sure you like the, and subscribe to the channel because i've got some amazing content coming up that you don't want to miss thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one